Welcome home residents, it's your mayor Alistair back once again with some awesome news. Godzilla Kong has been out for over three weeks now and it's been breaking records left, right and center. The film has been a hit with audiences and continues to grow in popularity despite stiff competition with the release of Civil War and the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. I just saw it for the fifth time the other day, once at Warner Bros, once in IMAX, once in 4DX and twice in Dolby and I'll probably watch it at least 500 more times. But how's it been performing across the world? Well, we've recently had an update on its box office income, which gives us clues to what the future of the MonsterVerse may hold. But if you want to stay as energized as Godzilla destroying a city, follow the link and use code DANGERVILLE to get 10% off gamer subs. Do it now! Having grossed an additional $9.6 million on its fourth weekend, in the US at least, Godzilla Kong has managed to reach $171 million at the domestic box office, making it the second highest grossing MonsterVerse film in the US, beating out Skull Island's $168 million and runner-up to only Godzilla 2014's $200 million. Godzilla Kong actually had the highest grossing fourth weekend of any of the MonsterVerse films, which is just really good to hear. Internationally, the film hit over $315 million, meaning the film has grossed a total of $486.8 million at the worldwide box office. Woo! Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for! That's what it's all about! Woo! Meaning The New Empire is now the second highest grossing Hollywood film of the year, beating out Kung Fu Panda 4 and second to none other than June Part 2. The New Empire has returned to its number one spot at the Chinese box office, beating out Ghibli's The Boy and the Heron. This is incredible news and honestly something I was not expecting. I did not predict the film would do this well. It's vastly exceeding my hopes and has solidified that the MonsterVerse is here to stay. While superheroes have come and gone, the Titans remain. But what does that mean for the MonsterVerse going forward? Well, remember, it was announced that Apple will be producing Monarch Season 2, as well as several MonsterVerse spin-off shows, which are currently shrouded in mystery in terms of what they could be about. Conveniently, they announced this after Godzilla Kong was revealed to be a huge success. So there are likely tons of other plans for the franchise that are being put in place now we know the underperformance of King of the Monsters was an anomaly. We have a bunch of new games coming out, one being Titan Chasers, which looks pretty interesting considering it's just a standard mobile game. And then there's the game being made by Seven Levels, which is currently in development. And for those with good memories, comment down below if you can guess what's happening in France in regards to the MonsterVerse. I'll give you a second to comment what it is. Three, two, one. Nope, it's not Godzilla destroying a French nuclear power plant, it was actually revealed back in 2022 that a theme park area would be built in the south of France with the theming of the MonsterVerse. The plan was to open a park in the tail end of 2025 to early 2026, but it's been a while since we've heard any updates, so hopefully the success of Godzilla Kong has reinvigorated the investors' confidence in the Studio Park hybrid. If they can get it done before 2027, then it would line up perfectly with the release of their next MonsterVerse film. With Godzilla Kong The New Empire ready to release in Japan this week, it's set to roar past $500 million and outgross Godzilla 2014 at the worldwide box office and perhaps even Kong Skull Island and become the highest grossing MonsterVerse film of all time. Promising a bright future for the MonsterVerse, which means fans will have something to look forward to and us at Dangerville will still have a job which obviously is incredible news. Whoever can guess the final total box office earnings for The New Empire gets a, I don't know, a free Dangerville shirt. So let us know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe and stomp the notification button to become a resident of Dangerville today. I've been your Mayor Alistair, and we'll see you residents in the next one.